try and be 100. I'm on Himalayan. through the little village of Madisonburg, Pennsylvania, heading up over the mountain to our lunch destination. My plan for today was to work on a completely different video, riding off-road, but circumstances always intervene and I was just tired and didn't feel like it. And my friend Paul, Paul texted me and said, hey, you want to ride to lunch? And I thought that was a fine alternative. Before I go any further, I want to thank everyone who's subscribed and follows this channel. I reached the lofty level of 2,000 subscribers last night. Uh, I'm not sure what that actually means, but I appreciate it. There's a lot of stuff rattling through my head lately. Um, I certainly love riding this motorcycle, but I had been thinking that I wanted to add a Royal Enfield Classic 350 to the garage so that I would have the Himalayan, the Classic 350, a Vespa GTS, and a Vespa ET4. And while that all sounds really nice and cool, there's the other part of me that's forever trying to simplify my life and, and be less tethered to possessions and things. And that would just be one more machine to care for and maintain especially considering this Himalayan for the kind of rides I do whether they're short rides or day long rides off the pavement or on the pavement it's just fine so I'm not sure what I would gain with another motorcycle I guess it all falls into the I want one but I don't need one is definitely here now. It's still cool, 50 degrees right now, but that's fine weather for riding. It'll rain on and off through the day. Single small rain clouds pass, drop a little water, but nothing, uh, nothing terrible. I've been puzzling over my various uh, channels that I post content. There's my original Scooter in the Sticks blog that has been going since 2005. My YouTube channel, which is relatively new and really only paid attention to it for the past year or so. Um, I have an Instagram account, a Facebook page for Scooter and the Sticks. And it all just can seem overwhelming. And I end up asking myself, why am I even doing this? And there was a time when I could answer that. When I knew that there was something I was puzzling out. And when I wrote about it, that helped. This is definitely excellent, excellent 
Himalayan territory. You know, speed and power have no bearing on this road. I'm traveling along here now at 30 miles an hour. Speed limit's probably 35. It's windy, twisting. The Himalayan's fine on this stuff. I like to go slow anyway so I can take in the, the scenery. The beautiful creek off to my left. Beautiful rock fields full of lichens on my right. And just trees and trees and trees. I can smell the water. Some of it coming off the pavement, but mostly from the creek. And when I'm wandering along these kind of roads, which there are many in central Pennsylvania, they're often dirt roads turning off left or right. And with the Himalayan, I don't hesitate at all exploring. And as long as I've been riding and as many roads as I've been on, it still surprises me how many places are completely unfamiliar. And I like getting on those roads and not knowing where I'm going. If you notice, there's no, uh, no GPS on my dash, no phone mounted. Uh, I'm not even sure if there's cell coverage where we are right now but I don't really care. What's nice about riding is it's exploring the unknown. And a map or G GPS sort of defeats the purpose of that. If I were somewhere with much greater wilderness or much more remote, I may feel differently, but there's nowhere in Pennsylvania that I really have any concern about them. I have all my new SW Motec gear mounted today. None of it is waterproof. Um, but they do come with, uh, well, a cover for the tail bag and the tank bag. But the side cases come with waterproof bags inside. So these are the uh, higher speed secondary roads that uh, this one's a main artery US Route 64 north and south and uh, people usually are going 60 to 65 here. I'm currently going 60 miles an hour and the Himalayans fine. We'll do that all day. I have no qualms about the power and speed of this motorcycle. It's probably the single most common thing I read about or watch about the Royal Enfield Himalayan. Doesn't have enough power, doesn't have enough power. Yeah, if I wanted to ride on interstate highways or expressways at really high speed, it doesn't. But I don't want to do that. And I do sometimes. And I can go 70 miles an hour while the cars are going 75 or 80. And they go around me. And people say, oh, it's, they don't want to do that. Well, a lot of the trucks do it. 
trucks pretty much watch the speed limit, plus there are plenty of people in RVs and campers going 60 miles an hour and 65 miles an hour. So, uh, I just don't buy the you have to do it, at least not around here. A place where you got to watch where people fly down on your backside. They're almost always little side roads like this to take. But it takes longer. So if you're in a hurry to get from point A to B, why would you take these roads? For me, I take these little roads because they're fun, you see different things, I'm not pressured, and I can just wander around. Here's our destination for lunch, the Hooplersburg Inn. Do we go in the back or we go out front? Can't go through here. Okay. So here we are. Take a look at the two motorcycles. Your joints are all achy. Yeah. It's hell to get old. Ah, uh, the weather. The weather. Your rheumatiz act them up, huh? It does. When the uh, air pressure drops, it is. I just, uh, can also get migraine related things. I was at Frank's office today and the, uh, the, uh, the clerk out front uh, had him call uh, the doctor. He was on the phone with the doctor because he feels lightheaded. Oh, really? Do we go in this store here? Or does that go into the kitchen? For a motorcycle ride. Right? And then if you want to set your set your other accessories. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> set it all down here. <laughs> yeah. There's some closer here too on this pole as well, but whatever whatever works for you. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Here's some water for you guys. I'll give you a few minutes and go for our menu, okay? Okay, thank you. Pretty snazzy place here for lunch. I'll show you the schedule. So how's this Yingling beer going? That's good. That's it's darker than I thought Yingling might be. That's a lager. Yes, but I had to think about it. There's also one called a Pilsner. That's not. A, that's a lager, I think. Yeah, Pilsner's pretty light. Do you know the difference? You mean how they're made? Mm -hmm. No. You ready to go? Ready to go. See ya. Bye bye. Oh, big lunch. Now I need a nap. Whew. Put thumbs down. Yeah. There's a. Um, Place along 
the road that goes through Jacksonville that I think sells ice cream. Oh, no. Want to go over there?